What happens during graveyard magic rituals? Well, that's a very broad question. Graveyard magic rituals always have a purpose. Some cause harm, others, on the contrary, save lives. But in any case, one thing is common. A graveyard is a separate space where the consciousness of the dead lives until a certain time. It is a kind of temporary home for them. And in that temporary home there are certain rules. Of course, the vibrations and energies there are different from those in the world of the living. The minds of the dead exist in these vibrations, and these vibrations make them different from the minds of the living. So when you come to the grave of your relative, friend, acquaintance, someone you have known all your life as a personality with a certain character, don't expect that same personality and character to respond to your presence. All you have to do is to remember the following. Firstly, when a mage performs some rituals in a graveyard, he understands that he is not dealing with familiar personalities. Secondly, the forces that fill that space have their own rules of coexistence. Thirdly, you are entering someone else's house and you have to respect the rules of that house. And fourthly, you cannot do anything in that house without the permission of the masters. And everything you do when performing graveyard magic rituals must necessarily take these four rules into account. If you follow these rules, any magical activity you perform in the cemetery, in the graveyard, in the world of the dead, will always be successful and safe for you, but if you break any of these rules, your life won't be worth a penny which is usually left at the entrance to the cemetery by experienced sorcerers and visitors as payment for entering foreign territory. Since your question is very abstract, I can't give you a more specific answer. But in general, any mage who performs magic in a graveyard, whatever tradition they belong to, be it voodoo, Christian black magic or whatever, has their own rules and rituals, and as a rule, they are never revealed. They are secrets, secrets of professional mastery, which are passed on only from teacher to apprentice. But these exceptions will always confirm the rules I mentioned at the beginning. I hope, Kali, that you found my answer, if not helpful, at least interesting.